What's going on, family members? Crazy deals and steals. Okay, so we've got a Dollar General haul right here for Saturday, November 30th. Dollar General Saturday deals, Dollar General Saturday scenarios, whatever you want to call it. I've also got some clearance video in here I want you guys to really look at because when Dollar General does that 50% off all clearance event again, we're going to be having a really great time with that, okay? Um, I'm going to show you three different transactions in this video, but I also want to let you guys know that we are going to be doing another gift card giveaway at that 1,000 subscriber mark. But my question to you guys is, instead of just doing a $100 gift card giveaway to one person, this is what we're going to do. We're going to split that up, and we're either going to do seven $15 gift card giveaways so once we hit that thousand subscriber mark, I would do a random winner seven different times. So seven people would win a $15 gift card each, or we could do four people win a $25 gift card each. Either way, we're going to take a poll in the comments. So in the comments below, just drop a comment and say whether you want to do seven winners for $15 a piece or four winners for $25 a piece. Whatever y'all decide is what we're going to do. I'm going to take a poll and tally it up and then I'll let you guys know on the next video what the plan is. Okay. So first let's get started with this little clearance video that I've got for you guys. Okay, you guys, we are in Dollar General doing our Dollar General Saturday deals. And I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the clearance section that we've got going on at this Dollar General now. At another Dollar General I was at yesterday when I was doing the Glade candle deal, they had Tide Pods and Tide Liquid, one specific scent on clearance, uh, marked down to $6.95. So those are things to look out for when Dollar General does another one of their 50% off um, all clearance event. Those are things we definitely need to look out for. Um, and pair those with coupons and we'll be getting some really cheap gain deals okay let me show you guys these are on clearance um let's see what else do we got i think these pennied out at some stores if i'm not mistaken but they are not a penny here i've already checked in my app we've got the double packs of crest um light bulbs i've been looking at these light bulbs and keeping my eye on these light bulbs for about three weeks now and i need me some light bulbs but i'm waiting for that clearance event so i can get them at a super good price right now they're not bad we're looking at 350 for this pack right here not bad but half off of 350 for these big packs of light bulbs would be even better We've got cookware. How much is this cookware? Let me see. It's marked down to 24. It's a five piece. So at that clearance event, it would be $12, you guys. Not bad for a five piece cookware. Okay, let me finish grabbing my Saturday goodies and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, just a little uh, video of everything in the haul for Dollar General today. I'm gonna go by, uh, I'm gonna go through each transaction one at a time. I'm gonna let you know the mistakes I made. I'm gonna let you know what went well and all of that jazz so that if you guys still wanna make it to Dollar General today, you still have time, okay? So just a little close up real quick um, of the Febreze and all that, the Snuggle, more Febreze. We've got some toilet paper in the back, the clean wrap. We got Crest, Kleenexes, razors. Okay, so we're gonna go through this one transaction at a time. Okay, transaction number one includes these lovely items right here. I got three of the Snuggle double oil refills. Those are $5 a piece before coupons. I got these Febreze Unstoppables. These are a newer product at Dollar General. They are $6 a piece instead of the normal Febreze Unstoppable, pro Unstoppable products being between $4 and $5 a piece. These are $6 a piece because they do include the plug. And the reason I got these instead of the cheaper ones is because I've got someone that's coming to buy a bundle today and she needs the plugs. Um, I'm, I have never sold bundles before until this last week. I've got way too much stuff in my house, so I'm having to get rid of stuff. So that's what's going on with that. And then I grabbed two of these Glad Clean Wraps. They are both a dollar a piece before coupons, and you will find these in the dollar aisle at Dollar General, okay? These are not in the regular section with 
the um, Glad products. These are in the dollar aisle. So let's talk about the math. We're at $29 before coupons. And let me tell you, the reason I wanted to increase my subtotal over that $25 mark is because I had a $2 off $12 general Febreze uh, digital coupon for these. So my total was going to have to be brought up $2 for that. And then the instant savings for the Snuggle was $2 off $12 Snuggle purchase instant savings. So that's why I increased my subtotal to $29 instead of the normal $25. Okay, so we had the Febreze 2 off 12 digital Dollar General uh, coupon. The instant savings, the 3 off 12 for the Snuggle. And then we had the five off $25 general in-store purchase. We also had a $4 off to Febreze digital coupon that I used on these two products up top. Then we had um, 75 cent Glad cling wrap coupons that are digitals and printable at coupons.com. So I used a digital one on this one on the top. It went through just fine. It took it off um the price okay and so did that printable one for this box down here i didn't have any issues with those even though these are the smaller boxes they went through just fine and then i used three dollar coupons for these snuggles three for this three for this and three for this one now there's you can get these snuggle coupons as a, um, a digital in your app a three dollar one you can print three dollars off one at coupons.com or we've got $3 Snuggle oil refill coupons in one of our recent newspapers. So all kinds of places you can come up with these Snuggle coupons. So we've got a $29 total and we've got $23.50 in coupons. So I'm going to show you my receipt real quick. And here we go. Total sale, $6.05 plus tax, $6.41. So not bad for all these items that I got. Not bad at all, considering these are $6 a piece. So it's like I bought one of these and got everything else for free. All right, you guys, for transaction number two. Now keep in mind, I have three store cards. I just signed my mom up with the Dollar General account. I'm couponing for her now. So I have that one, mine, and then uh, my daughter. So I have three Dollar General store accounts um, that's how I was able to do three different transactions today for the five off 25. So this second transaction right here, I grabbed two of the Cottonelle. They are on sale this week for $6 a piece. And then they're also on a promotion, spend 15 of select paper products and get $3 off instantly. So that's why I grabbed the Kleenex. Now, technically I only needed three Kleenex boxes to hit that $15 mark. However, my coupons were all 50 cents off two. So had I gotten three of them, I would have been able to use the 50 cent off two digital and then no coupon for this one. So I just added in another Kleenex box so I could use both of those 50 cent off two coupons. One of them was out of a recent paper and the other one was a digital. I will tell you, I should not have gotten these Kleenexes. These are dollar box Kleenexes. I should have gotten the Cottonelle flushable wipes, the 42 count. They're over by the toilet paper at Dollar General. They're $3, but we have that awesome fetch rebate where you buy a pack of Cottonelle and the flushable wipes on, you know, one receipt or two receipts and get a 500 point bonus for the flushable wipes. That's what I should have done. And we have a 50 cent off one newspaper coupon for those. So I would have been better money wise to do that, but I didn't think about it until after I checked out with everything that I already have. So that was too late. Um, so we've got $12 in paper products back here, and then we've got 13, 14, 15, 16 minus that $3 instant savings. And then I've got four Febreze products. These are $4 a piece before coupons. And um, now let's talk about the coupons real quick. We've got a $2 off two coupon for the Cottonelle. And we've got, like I said, 50 cent coupons for the Kleenex. The Cottonelle is a digital. We've got a 50 cent digital for the Kleenex and I used a paper one for the other two. And then regarding the Febreze, we've got $4 off to digital, or we have those buy one, get one free, which would take off the same amount from the 1124 P and G. Um, so I used the $4 off to digital, and then I used one of the paper coupons, the buy one, get one freeze for that. And then I also attached a $2 off $12 Febreze purchase coupon. That was a Dollar General coupon. 
So before coupons, all of these items right here totaled $31 before coupons. Now, I also paired in that five off $25 general digital coupon. And I did, oh, that's it. I already talked about all the other coupons. Okay, so let me show you my receipt. <clears throat> Everything went as planned. I did not have any issues. And you see before tax, $11.75. After tax, $12.68. So I did not have any issues, no beeps, no, no nothing like that. The only issue I had is I should have not gotten the Kleenex boxes. I should have gotten the flushable wipes and used that 50 cent paper coupon, plus got those 500 fetch points. Who in your guys' household does not have fetch yet? I'm going to show you uh, my referral link for fetch right here. They're giving out extra bonus points for anybody that signs up with my um with my referral code so get on that and also ibotta um is giving out a pretty great bonus if i can get if i can get two more people to sign up under my ibotta referral code i will get a pretty good bonus so if you guys have anyone in your household that does not have ibotta or fetch the information for that's going to be right here and also in the description box okay all right so let's move on to the last transaction all right you guys so this transaction right here the goal of this transaction was to pay as little out of pocket as possible uh, my channel has grown drastically over the last couple of days. I was not expecting this, which means I'm going to be doing, I just did the 750 subscriber giveaway. I also mailed off a couple extra gift cards for a couple random winners for other things. And I mailed off G man, his gift card for pointing out an error, a pretty big error in one of my videos. Now I'm going to get ready to do the gift card drawing for the thousand subscriber mark all within a few days of each other. So my goal for this was to spend as little out of pocket as possible, and that's exactly what I did. So I grabbed two of the Glad Cling Wrap. Like I said, it's in the dollar aisle, and we've got 75 cent off one digital coupons for those, and we've got 75 cent off one printable at coupons.com. If you guys do not know yet about the printer, the HP printer on Amazon, I'm going to show you a picture of that right here. It is still marked $19.99 down from $60. It's an HP Compact wireless printer. You can print more coupons if you need it. I'm telling everybody about it until it goes back up in price. You're also going to get a free $5 ink card with it. So it's a great snag. I've already ordered mine. A lot of people have ordered it. They've let me know, which is awesome. Um, okay, so that and then the Crest, we've got, this is $3. And then we've got a $2 digital coupon for that. This baby right here, I'm going to talk to you about a little bit, is $6. And we've got a $4 digital coupon. Now, per the coupon for the Schick, it should have attached to those razors that are $4.50. However, it is not. That is an error, I believe, on Dollar General's part. I don't know why it would not attach to those other packs of razors, but it wouldn't. And then, like I said earlier, the Febreze Unstoppables, these are $4 a piece. And I have I want to tell you guys, all these Febreze Unstoppables are $4 a piece. But let me tell you, these ones right here are twice the size ounce wise than these but they're all the same price these are 8.8 .8 ounce and these are 16.9 ounce but they're all the same price okay i guess because this one's a little bit more sleek and pretty looking than i don't know all right so now before coupons we're at 27 dollars for all these things can you believe this stuff costs 27 dollars before coupons i would never pay that that's insane um now the reason i wanted to get to 27 dollars instead of that 25 dollar mark is because i had a two dollar off 12 dollar general febreze digital coupon it's a dollar general coupon so that dropped me down um that would drop me down to 23 dollars if i was only up to 25 dollars purchase so I increased my subtotal to $27 minus that $2 Febreze Dollar General coupon that drops me down to $25. And then I stacked on that five off $25 Dollar General in-store purchase. And then I used a 75 cent off one Glad Digital, a 75 cent off one Glad Printable, then the $2 for the Crest, $4 for the Schick. And then I also used a $4 off two Febreze Digital and one of the buy one get one free Febreze Unstoppable coupons out of the 1124 P&G. And so we've got um, 
$22.50 and coupons in our total was $27. And I'm gonna show you my receipt. I was right on the money with the calculations with this one. And we paid just $4.50 plus tax, you guys. So essentially, it's like we bought one of these and got everything else for free, which is really awesome. Um, really great deals at Dollar General today. So if you have not went to Dollar General, I suggest you hurry up and head out quickly. Okay, crazy deals and steals family, we've made it to the green screen and you know what that means. If you wanna see either of these three videos right here, links for those will be somewhere towards the end of this video. Possibly all of them will be linked on the end screen depending on what YouTube will allow me to link them and where. Um, I also need to know who has a Sears near them, a Sears store. I've got five of those $10 off Sears coupons that have to be used by December 1st, okay? The coupons say $10 off your purchase. I'm being told it means $10 off $10 or more purchase, and I have five of them. They would all have to be used separately. You can't use them all at one time to get $50 off. You'd have to do five separate transactions. But I went to go use them yesterday at Sears and noticed that the Sears by my house is no longer there. It's closed down. So I want to give them away. If you guys can get to Sears before the end of the day on December 1st, which is Saturday, let me know as soon as possible in the comments. Um, just say, hey, yes, I've got a Sears. And I'm going to pin my email in the comment section as well well and I want you to email me as well and say yes I've got a Sears near me and I will send you a screenshot of the coupon okay you're going to take that into Sears and I will also give you the phone number that the coupon is linked to because these coupons I believe are linked to shop your way rewards accounts which means when you check out at Sears you're going to need to put the phone number in that coincides with the coupon that you're using so I'll send you a screenshot of the coupon and the phone number that it's linked to so let me know you guys in the comments and send me an email so I can give these coupons out you guys can get great stocking stuffers, mittens, hats, you know, whatever you want at Sears. It's around that $10 mark. Or if you have a bigger purchase that you want to get and you just want to take $10 off, you can do that as well. And also don't forget to let me know in the comments if you think we should do seven $15 gift card giveaways for the thousand subscriber giveaway, or if we should do four $25 gift card giveaways for that thousand subscriber giveaway. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments so I can take a tally and a poll and we'll get that figured out. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can be entered into win and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.